All right, the long-awaited demolding. If you were on my live last night, I demolded this on live and recorded with my phone. So there was a spot where it kind of messed up. You can see it at the teeth. So I won't be selling this, but I did decide that it will be in my upcoming giveaway. And this is my favorite part. I absolutely love this powder. Like it came out so good. Look at it. I love it so much. And I still need to gloss it, so that's what we're about to do. And I just gloss it with some more resin. I ended up switching my paintbrush like halfway through because I didn't like that one, but. I decided not to gloss the flowers either because I wanted them to keep that look, but I absolutely love this. Thank you for all the followers and I love you all. Um, if you see this, please don't scroll away. I kind of make art and honestly, I feel like nobody here on TikTok uh, cares about art. So if you like art like me, can you please like this video? Because I feel worthless after working so many hours on a piece of work and then nobody actually seems to like it. Uh, don't mind this one, this was a fail. Um, you're probably going to go away, so I'm sorry if I waste- This is part two of lies my ex told me that I actually believed. So one time I was doing his laundry and I found a white hair tie in his sheets. And I knew it wasn't mine because I don't use white hair ties. So of course, I decide to confront him about it and I'm like, yo, this isn't mine. Whose fucking hair tie is it? And he's like, oh yeah, you know, it must be my roommate's. Like he had a girl over the other night. It must have gotten somehow in my sheets. I don't know. I'm sure that it's his. Yeah, okay. And honestly, like, I'm very suspicious at this point, but it's so far into a relationship. I'm so exhausted by all of his lies at this point. I actually just decide to let this one go. Then here's the real kicker. He's like, I'll be right back. I have to go get something. And he goes upstairs. Not even a minute after he comes back downstairs, his roommate comes down. And his roommate says, hey, did you guys see a white hair tie i had a girl over the other night and she's looking for her hair tie bitch please a few weeks ago a guy messaged me telling me that as soon as he got a girlfriend he would be buying her one of my custom denim jackets i was visiting my sister in los angeles at the time that i received the message and we both died at how cute his message was i could tell by his profile that he's a baseball player so i assume that he wants his girlfriend to have a jacket with his name and number on it I offered to give him a shout out in my Instagram stories to try and find him a girlfriend. He declined, saying that he wanted things to happen naturally, which I totally respect. He has no idea, but in a small way, his message restored some of my faith in men. And it really made me hopeful that there's a guy out there somewhere in the world waiting with plans to have a custom denim jacket also made for me. I suspected I would get this argument.
I consider myself an agnostic, but for the sake of this argument, I'm going to take the position that God is in fact real and created everyone. God also gave each human an appendix. But if a person had appendicitis and needed to have their appendix removed, you wouldn't tell them that they should keep that organ because that's how God made them. And before anyone says that's different because it's life or death, here's another thing to consider. God also gave a lot of people imperfect vision. And while that's very inconvenient, you can live a very long life with bad eyes. It's far from fatal. Yet I've never heard a Christian say that getting glasses or even corrective laser eye surgery is sinful because you're changing the body that God gave you. The validity of a person being transgender is not an indication that God makes mistakes. It's a further indication of something we already know, which is that God intended for us to have challenges, and some of those challenges come from our own bodies. Otherwise, there'd be no need for doctors or medicine. And like with any other challenge, God intended for us not to be obstructive to people facing this, but to be helpful and compassionate. Time for another resin mirror. First, a thin layer of resin so we can lay everything down. Now we're just gonna lay everything down. These ones are just gonna go to the side. Next, adding in some more yellow. Next, got the golden flakes. Here's like a quick little glance. Still trying to figure out how I want everything to be, but this is how it looks so far. It's cute. We're adding in some gold, baby. Now we're just gonna pour it on top. This is a small amount, we don't want it to overflow. Voila, time to get rid of the bubbles again. It is now time now for the mirror. We need to add in the mirror. We are just gonna push her in. You know, I could sit here all day and all night and upload my best artwork, but it doesn't matter because you're probably going to see this video and skip right past it. And I might get a comment or two that says underrated artist, but I'm still just a loser.